Becky, how amazing is it to see England and, and Spain in that in that final? Yeah, um, you know, with England, it's kind of been like a... They kind of started off slow and then I've kind of like come into the peak of it now and like per, at perfect timing. So, you know, it's amazing to see, obviously, players that we will play against like week in, week out and teammates and stuff get to the final. And obviously for the country, it's an, it's an amazing achievement and it's obviously history as well being being made again. So, yeah, it's a, it's a fantastic achievement. Yeah, Izzy then and Jen, I was going to ask you about that. These are your mates, seeing them like on the biggest of stages. You've gone through everything with them. You've grown up with them. And then to see them there, tell me what that's like. It's crazy, really. Um, I don't know. It's a funny one because like having trained with a lot of them, like week in, week out, like it, I've kind of known they've always been good, if that makes sense. And like, obviously for the amount of time as a professional footballer you train versus you play in a match or you spend a major tournament, like you spend a lot more time training than you do portraying what you can do on a world stage or even in a domestic league in a, in a match. So I think what we see behind the scenes as in the level of players, like, you know, I know Jen's a big fan of Kira Walsh myself as well, like what a player she is. And then Alex Greenwood is someone who, you know, I've been big enough massively this tournament, like, playing out from the back and just her she's always been an absolute baller but for her to then just go and do it so the world can see I think that's the thing that which I'm enjoying the most is like just them actually being able to show what they actually are capable of doing yeah I think it's also how much they're taking it in their stride as well I think when you work with them day in day out you kind of see I guess the hardship that goes on and the kind of graph that goes on behind the scenes but they're just all embracing it and I say it all the time but I think the amount of pressure that was on them with like everyone was talking about the players that were missing right and not bigging up the players that were there and I think it's just class to see how much they've grown as a team over this tournament and like kept believing in in the process and and what they're more than capable of and proofs in the pudding they're in the final. I think also as well they seem to have like a calm like presence as well like it's like nothing's phasing them at the moment and each and every player is like it. And I think it obviously stems from Serena and how she's, you know, managing the team. I just feel like everyone's just in like a really great, it looks like everyone's in a great space. Everyone's enjoying and embracing it. And they've come up against so many different teams at the World Cup that they probably haven't faced before in the past. So many different styles of football. Um, And they just keep finding a way to get through it. And, you know, it's, it's convincing now. So it's like everyone just looks like it's, yeah, they just look really calm and they just look really confident in everything that they're doing. Do you know what I've found as well? I don't know if this is going crazy, like off topic, but say like say everyone when they talk about England, or even like ex England internationalists that have retired, say your likes of Jill, Ellen, everyone, it's all really supportive. It seems like a really good culture, like a healthy culture in that sense. And then you've got, and I honestly think regardless of the outcome, it would have been the same whether they win, lawn, like or not gotten this far, it would have been the same. Mm-hmm. And then you find like the USA national team. I don't know if anyone's seen like some of the ex-retired internationalists that have been saying about them and the views on the culture and views on the way that they're showcasing themselves at the tournament. I don't know. England's the complete opposite. It seems so supportive. Seems like a really good culture and that, I guess, like is expressed on the field. I don't know what you guys think. I don't know if it's that's gone mad off topic, but no, it seems like a very healthy culture in England. It's not going off topic at all. I agree. Um, I think that uh, it is literally like Serena Riegman came in with a magic wand and mm. she waved everything towards better things. And she, I did see an article yesterday saying she's the Pep Guardiola of women's football. And <laughs> I like agree with that. I think her ability to change a style of play and a footballing culture, like people like, in the men's game, like Man City, people go, oh, they bought the league, right? They didn't buy the league. They, they, Jen can, you know, back this up as well with regards to like, it takes a lot of work to get people singing off the same hymn sheet in, in a football yeah. context. And that's exactly what Serena Wiegmann's done, but in a short space of time. And I think the culture is that, you know, it's a winning mentality. It's a winning culture. And the most impressive thing I've seen alongside what I said about the players showcasing themselves is the fact that they came into this World Cup with a target on their back of being the European champions yeah. and, you know, highly, strongly resourced, well supported by by the FA and, and rightly so. Um, so. So within that becomes, you know, you, you are a target for every other nation that's playing against you. 
And then what they've done is they've coped with that. It's almost like they've maintained a gap above um, the rest to kind of be prepared for that element of doubt in a football match. You know, I thought coming up against the Aussies yesterday, you know, the Aussies, you guys, Bex and Jenna, both got Aussies in your in your teams or have played with Australians in the WSL. And like, they've got a different mentality in sport. You know, it's sometimes you can't put your finger on it. It's just like yeah. winning mentality, never say die. And England just like, extinguished that and that took away their biggest strength yesterday um so I think the mentality piece is one of the things which is equally as impressive as the showcasing of talent speaking of mentalities as well like Serena Wiegmann being in four finals on the bounce (laughs) is insane like doing it with the Netherlands doing it with England now like she like she gets all the credit she deserves she must be like I don't I don't know what it is I'd love to see what goes on behind the scenes but Everyone speaks so highly of her, and to get to four major tournament finals, like it's just, with two different teams, I think she's the first to do it. It's like unbelievable. It's the way she comes across as well, and uh, all of her interviews and her press conferences, like it's, yeah. she's just like it's factual, like yeah. it's like she's a likable character, and I think that also brings in people as well. When your manager is a likable character, then it kind of has like that infectious feeling over the team too. So. I think with her, like the way she conducts herself is also like an, another amazing trait that she has alongside her, you know, you know, the master she is in, in managing. So I think that side of it as well, yeah, is fantastic. She's like the Mary Berry in baking, but in football. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, like, just... <laughs> what, do you mean, what do you mean by that? Like, what? <laughs> The best baker. I don't know. Every time you turn on the TV and watch Mary Berry making something, it's like she she doesn't like blow you away with like Michelin star dishes, but she always gets it right. Like even if she's doing. Is this the start? This is the new season of you and your metaphors. Like, um, you know what I mean, what was it last season? Oh, the yeah. toothpaste. Toothpaste. toothpaste, and the toothpaste yeah. Juice. Yeah. I've got a few oh. up my sleeve for this season as well. <laughs> If you don't say that in the build up to the final, whichever outlet you're on, Izzy, I'll be disappointed in you. You'll have let Luckily, yourself down. Luckily, on Sunday, I'm not working on the final, um, and that one will remain in my own brain. I'm working on um, the men's the men's Premier League on Sunday. So I don't think I'll be able to get that one in there. Can we talk about Lucy Bronze? Like this is this is the the one she's talked about the dream getting to the World Cup final. She's there, Becky, and if she goes on win it, that there is nothing she hasn't won. What I mean, I'm not saying she should go out. Clearly, she should carry on playing. But what a player! I know. Um, she's just a machine. I think she's just built differently. Like her mentality, her physicality, just everything about her is just it just screams success. And I think like like you said, this is the only thing that she hasn't won yet. Um, and I feel like she'll just keep going and going until she does win it. So I hope, you know, that she does win it on, on Sunday. Because so, you, know, you don't know how her knees will be yeah, in four years' time, I, mean. I don't want her to be, you know what I mean? I want her to be able to, to walk and stuff. So I just hope that she'll, yeah, I just hope that they get it for her because she's been going and going. And, like, it's hard to kind of speak about Lucy because I don't really have, like, the words to really explain, like, what kind of person and character she is. And she's an amazing player and, like, everyone knows it. So, I mean, she deserves it more than more than most people. Like, she deserves to, to win a World Cup final, for sure. I just think the most interesting thing about Bronzy is, like, even when I've seen her speak or listened to her at press conferences and stuff, I think, Bex, you just touched on it there, but even if she doesn't win this one, she's already thinking about the next one. And that just sums her up in mentality. She's constantly chasing it. She's constantly looking for trophies, that the highest point in sport. And that's... I think if anyone's ever worked for her, that's the way she works every day. Like, she delivers that standard every day in training she's probably the most one of the com- most competitive just mindsets in general I think if you played Lucy at card games or anything she'd want to win you know like that's just ingrained in her in her DNA and that that's why she's got to the highest of heights as a as an athlete and as a footballer and yeah she of course like she fully deserves it she's won everything there is to win in football and I think her mentality has got her there um without a doubt and yeah it for me it sums it up that if she doesn't win this one she's already thinking about how old she'll be at the next one and she'll still want to be at the next one even if she wins this if she wins this one she'll want to win it again that's the way she is like she, she won't stop that's like her that's the way she works but what's she like at baking is he well i was just thinking she's the type of person that if you made a two-tiered vicky sponge she's made a three-tiered one 
and that's her mentality. That, like she's she's a winner. Like she would win Bake Off somehow, even if baking wasn't her biggest strength, she'd win it. Yeah, yeah. she'd find a way. You're actually right. And I think, like on a serious yeah. level, I think if if we can get there now from that, but I I think that in the Phil Neville uh, reign of the lionesses, she was kind of like moving towards like a leadership role of like vice or potentially a captain. Um, and I think the best thing that happened to her for her success moving forward was maybe not being in a leadership role because I think she might have felt pressure to be something that she wasn't. And I think that she's kind of like now just quietly gone about a business, you know, really consistent, um, really focused on her strengths and what she can bring. And I think that's probably the best thing for her. And it's why she's, you know, being really successful at the moment and has done a whole career. Um, because I think that, I mean, on the training pitch, she's the first person that like, well, when I was training with her a lot at Leon, Man City, England, like if she was on your team in a small sided game, like the chances were very high that you would win just because Lucy was on your team. Like that's just probably the biggest compliment I can pay her apart from her baking skills. 